The Clinica Universidad de Navarra, with locations in Pamplona and Madrid, is an internationally renowned academic hospital with a marked orientation towards research and education. As an academic center, it stems from a school of medicine, the University of Navarre, for which it is named, and benefits from the support of the Center for Applied Medical Research. As a result of this profoundly integrative spirit, uniting clinical care, research and academic training, the clinic, university and Thema generate a knowledge network providing constant feedback to each other. University of Navarra Cancer Center was founded, an international leader in the diagnosis and treatment of cancer, providing patients with the most innovative therapies and technology that is, at times, unique in our country. This model of interdisciplinary medicine has been certified by the most prestigious national and international recognitions. Hello everyone, this is Premaster Lible, 
Today I am playing the semi-final match against Grandmaster Kiryu Shevchenko from Ukraine. So this is the best of eight game match. Whoever reaches four and a half would win the match. And this is the first game I have white. So let's start. So two days ago, Kiryu beat Vidit 5-2, which is a very impressive score. And I'm hoping that today he's not playing as good. He's a very young and promising player from Ukraine, and definitely he has a lot of potential. It says the game is currently stopped. Okay, it is ready now, so start. So I expect him to play the King's Indian. This is the same opening. He has been playing in all the previous matches. And I'm going for my London system again with white. So let's see what he prepared for me here. Lots of moves are possible for black here. Yeah. I guess the black knight has to reach now, maybe to c7 or d8. Or he can also play b6. But B6, maybe I can go knight E5. So he's taking some time to think now. That's a good sign because it means he did not expect this opening from me today. So I always like to be on, on time. Okay, queen b6, attacking b2, I guess I should defend it with rook here, I guess. Okay, should I be worried about knight b4? Maybe. So I can go a3, but that seems slow. So I'm gonna go bishop d3, trade the bishops, and recapture with the c pawn. So my plan is to attack on the queen side later on with b4. So that's why he had to play this c5 move, which is a good one. So let's go here, putting my bishop on the long diagonal to counter his, his bishop. And this castle, I suppose I'm not better, but maybe slightly easier to play for me. Maybe I can go knight a4, should I? Oh, queen a4. I like knight a4, to be honest. So queen d8, I guess. A queen c6, queen b5 also possible. The only trick is that he cannot play queen a5 because then I take c5 with the knight, knight c5, knight c5 b4. That's my trick. But here, queen c6 is good. Now, if I take bc, knight c5, take, take, mm, I suppose I don't have anything. What about rook c1? Rook c1, b6, dc. Maybe something there. I don't know. Let's go to c1. And then maybe dc and c5, c5, d4. 
that should not be much to be honest but still I'm not saying better here so I'm just gonna take BC is only move and I'm thinking to play to play maybe d4 I can also play like b3 Nice five, nice five, d4. Nice five, nice five, b4. Maybe let's do that. Nice five, nice five, and b4. I suppose this is around equal, but my piece is a little bit more active, so I have some slim hopes for advantage here. Very, very slim though. You can move the queen somewhere, then attack the knight. Back, back with the rook. And then I trade the rooks and go queen a4. Maybe I can go queen a4 immediately. Let's go for that for immediately. Creating the threat of bishop d4. So he has to do something here. Maybe queen b5 or queen a5. I think queen a5 is more likely. Okay, h5 is good too. Then if I take, he has to take with the knight. Right, so he has to take the knight. Then what? I guess I'll take this and then go to b1. Rook is coming to b7. Maybe I have some small pressure. Not much, very, very little. Uh, b7, queen c1, king h2. Where does he go? Queen F1, I go Queen C2, and this Queen may be in trouble. I think I'm doing okay here. Um, can I take? I don't know, let's go here, feel safer. Trying to create an attack with G4, maybe. Yeah. Happening G4. I may have something. What is this? Can I go E4? Yeah. Yeah, this is bad for him already. Now G4, I guess. Maybe strong. And then, yeah, the knight has to go back to e8, but then I go knight f6 and take f7. Okay, that's a good start. So as usual, I didn't get much from the opening, but eventually when, he's, when he was low on time, he made some mistakes. Okay. So he's playing Reti's opening. I don't think this is much for white, but of course it's playable. Okay. Okay, okay, let's go. You show here maybe. Let's go back to H5. Shoot back here, I guess. Okay, stop A5. 
I suppose the position is equal, nothing much here. Oh, does he want to cast along? That would be very interesting. I don't think he could do that though. Castle Long is too risky once he plays A4 already. I don't think he could do that. So Castle Shot seems more likely. Then I would probably go Queen C7. And then Knight C5, trade the Knight. Get some kind of play. This position is still right equal, but I like that I'm gaining the time advantage on the clock. It's very important. So queen c4, what's the idea of queen c4? Hard to understand. I'll go nice back, maybe. Why should I go back? Let's just go here. So I want to put one rook, one of the rooks to b8. Not sure which one yet. Very interesting what he's doing. I guess I put the rook f to d8, so the knight can go back to f8 and then go to e6. The problem now is that he weakened his king's side. So if he castle there, he may run into some trouble later on. Especially if my knight can get to f4. What is he trying to do, g5? Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna follow follow my plan. Knight f8, knight e8, knight e6, knight e6. Eventually the knight will come back to life and I will have a very strong position. Should I worry about knight f5? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, how should I recapture? If I recapture with the edge pawn, you may have H4, H5, so I'm gonna recapture with the knight. I want to bring the knight to F4, maybe. So if I go knight F4, yeah, I'm gonna go knight F4. And then maybe put my queen on d5. Knight to. Oh, but he's threatening g6. Tricky, tricky. Okay, let's go there. g6, I have 96, so not to worry about that. g6, 96, gf, king f8, and black is fine. In fact, plus should be slightly better. GF, King F8. Okay, he wants to trade the queens. Okay, let's trade. Now what? Now let's put the knight on e5, maybe. Yeah. That's a good position though, square for the knight. Put it on e5, forcing him to trade my pawn. Or should I just take that pawn? Um, had to say, had to say. 
All right, I'm just going to take that out. And then I go like king f7, defending on my pawns. Maybe I should go rook b6, actually. King f7, rook h4, bishop c7, rook g1. That may be a problem. Rook d6, rook g4, rook d6 seems safer. And then rook f8. Oh, that's a good move. Let's go rook d8. Try to play some tricks with rook b2. Rook b2, he's not worried about that, really. Okay, then it's last for white. Check. Create the bishop. Okay, he's not resigning. Let's go here. He doesn't want to resign, does he? Let's go here, maybe. Check. Oh, the, the king is getting there. Check. Check here, maybe. And the knight is coming to e1. Maybe just go b6 first. Uh, let's go b6 first. Let's go here. Let's give a check here. And then bishop c5 seems winning, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I should be winning. Rook c6, king g5, king e1, g2, king c rook c5, b6, king f2, king f4. It's winning. Okay, 2-0. That's a good start. All right, game three. Okay, I'm white again. Let's go. Same opening. Okay, he changed. He doesn't want to go for King's Indian anymore because of my London system. So let's go for this line. Very safe, very solid. Okay. So this is supposed to be slightly better for white, I think. At least it's easier to play. A3 is very important to stop like before, 95. And then I go next to three. So white has advantage here, mainly because of my active pieces. Let's go rook c1. Knight c4, I go queen e2. Bishop f3, gf. I don't mind the double pawns. Black has some problems with his queen side. Okay, so he has to play d5, closing off the long diagonal for him. Now, I guess I should go knight e5. Seems like a typical plan. Putting some pressure on the knight on c4. If he takes, Attacks with a deep pawn, and then maybe I can go knight b5. Okay, knight d6, very logical. 
let's tap on my books here. Okay, let's tap on my books here. Should I double or should I do something else? See, I can double, no problems. It takes, it takes to the deep on, I guess. I can go nice if all. And then what do I do? Good question. Yes, I can go knight b5, knight d6. Knight b5, knight d4, knight b1. Let's go knight b5. A6, I'm gonna go knight b4, b5. Maybe I go b3, I don't know. That's an option. A6, I can go knight d6. So, knight 7 is not an option. Bishop c4 is not good. b3, queen b5, b c d c, probably not good. So, let's go back here. b5, b3, bishop a3. It's unclear position here. All right, let's continue with the kingside attack. Oh, but I gotta be careful. There is some um, knight takes b2. I must be careful about that. Hmm. To be honest, I don't like it so much now. I'm gonna go back. Try not to blunder something. And then, how do I keep that knight away? That knight is really, really annoying. Okay. How do I keep that knight away? Okay, I'll just make some prophylactic move. Not doing anything special right now. But the key thing is, of course, not to blunder something big. Okay, so he wants Bishop G7. Maybe let's go here. Okay, let's go here and play F4. Not so easy to play for both sides. You can go f6 and then take the f. I go bishop h4. I don't know. Let's go here. Is bishop f6 a move? Probably not. Probably not. All right. What can I do? I guess I can take B3, knight A3, take, take, take. Yeah, I'm gonna go B3. I don't want to wait any longer. Yeah. Yeah, the knight is kind of trapped there, so it may not be so easy for black to get it out. But at the same time, I don't really have a threat now. So that's my problem. Okay. 
I thought he had to play Bishop B7. Or maybe not, I don't know. Because now I have some annoying threats, maybe, like knight c6. Maybe I should have done that immediately. Yeah, I should have done that earlier. But now it's not too late. So let's go back here. Let's go back here. Okay, that's a mistake. He should have played. He should have played Queen C7. Now this should be winning for white. Okay, take that. Now this should be winning for white. That's a bad move. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go for draw. Okay, just take the professional approach here. I should have won that position. But um, yeah, I blundered something at the end. Okay. So two and a half, half, not too bad. Now it's game four. Okay, black now. So he's going more aggressive now. He's playing his main openings this time. This is not supposed to be anything for white. Knight e5, I go bishop e4, bishop c3. And d3, I can go knight e7, I guess. Okay, let's go here. If he trades my knight, my bishop is my knight is gonna come to come to uh, e6. And if he doesn't trade, then I'm gonna go back here. Maybe play knight f8, knight g6, and this is supposed to be equal, I guess. This is really nothing for white. I can go bishop e6, but I think I can I should take that too. Queen d4, I'm gonna go back. Uh, maybe bishop b4, maybe a good move. Bishop b4, yeah, maybe a good move. Bishop f8 was okay too. But I like bishop e4, creating some threats, like bishop c3, rook e4. I already slightly prefer black here. Maybe I'm too optimistic. I don't know. But the bishop pair seems really, really nice. Okay, so he forces me to trade that. Let's play a positional move. Bishop e6, he has knight a5. That's the problem. So let's go with this move. And then I'm gonna have bishop e6 later on. 
I have to stop him from playing f5. So that's why. Okay, interesting. He's going on out for the win. Okay. Let's take that on, I guess. And go back here. My knights can come to d5. And if I get my pawn to c5, bishop to b7, I don't think I'm worth it on. But I need to be careful, of course. He has a very strong attack. Okay, that's a good move. He gets back that, uh, that pawn. So I guess I have to go here. Can I take that pawn on c3? Mm, why not? It's a free pawn. And then put the bishop here. On the c5. And I should be good. On the c5, I rook to e8 first. Maybe rook to e8 first. On the c5 should be okay too. I don't know, let's trade one, one pair of rooks. That feels safer. And then I'm gonna go to e5, 95 and then c5. If I can trade the other pair of rooks, I should be good. Oh, that's a good move. Wow. I found a very, very strong idea. Yeah, I have to admit, I missed that. Very, very strong. Okay, so I'm trying to survive here. Okay. Trying to survive, probably very difficult. Okay, c5. Has to be played. C4. Back. I'm sure I'm much worse here, but it's not losing yet, and I'm still fighting. Okay, got to move the knife somewhere. Let's go here. So, what is he trying to do? I'm not sure. He wants to play a5. Okay, I guess I cannot allow a5. That's, that's going to be very, very bad for me. Maybe I can go to a7. Let's go to a7. Rook c8, king e7, and then king f6. And I'm not too bad. Maybe king e7 now. And try to trade this pawn. I have to be very, very careful now. Okay, so let's go here. 
A1, root A2, maybe, or root A2 immediately. Let's go root A2. A1, A2, or A2. I don't know. Really, I didn't see a difference. Uh, probably let's go here. On. Okay, let's give some checks, maybe. Yeah, that was not good. That's not good. But I'm playing for draw here. I'm trying to draw only. So let's go here. Let's go back. And let's go here. Okay, so he's not gonna give me an easy draw here. 92, root C2, knight F3, that's not a draw. Where is my draw? Okay, let's go here again. Maybe give him a check. I don't know. Let's go here. Let's go here. Oh, wow. Is there something here? Not sure. Oh no. Yeah, I think I blundered that. And now I'm losing a pass, but let's try for some last tricks. Let's try for some last tricks here. Yeah. Maybe I can make a draw of the own. Surprise as it may be. Really, really surprising. Uh, check. I guess I can go. Oh, no. No, I'm too slow. Too slow. Okay. All right. So after four games, I lit on the two and a half, one and a half. Let's try again. I should have made a draw there. Okay. This line is very risky for black. I'm too slow. How could I lose that? So, this position, I have the center. I have more space, that should be a little bit better. Okay, go back. Should I go bishop c6? Probably.
probably queen somewhere, e3, e2. Let's go queen b3. Oh, I forgot about bishop f5. But I have queen e2, so that's not a big deal. Okay, e5. So important question here, should I take? Oh, I don't like to take, but then he has some bishop f5, maybe annoying. I think I misplayed a little bit. Okay. Uh, but if I take, then bishop e6, b3, d5, he has a great position. This is not good. Okay. This is not good. But what can I do? I should try to play for b4, maybe a3, b4. Okay, so he wants to play for f5. It's very logical. Let's continue my plan with a3, b4. Yeah, it looks a bit dangerous for me now. This is not the way I want. So e5 is coming and that looks extremely risky. So I have to go here. I guess I cannot really prevent e4. I'm playing terrible chess right now. Okay, I have to go back. This is not going well. Yeah, I'm playing terrible. Terrible, terrible chess. But it's still not over. It's like some tricks. He has to do something here. Otherwise, I can consolidate. Knight f3, knight c4, that's not great. Rook e3, bishop d4, also not good. So he found a very good move. What can I say? It's terrible. All right. Guess I have to go there. This is of course very, very bad. For white. Trying to survive. Okay, seems like a good move. All right, I have to suck this change, trying to get some compensation. Not sure if I have any, but if I don't do that, I, I would be losing anyway. Okay, so am I lost yet? Probably. Probably. Oh, maybe not. 
Maybe I'm losing, maybe not yet, but I have to keep trying. E3 seems like a good move. At least I'm holding, holding on here. Hoping for some miracle at the end. 96, win B6. I see eight. He didn't really need to do that, I think. Oh, sound very, very interesting plan. Check the seven. Oh, seems like I missed something. Yeah, I should have like some better move. Oh, it's getting annoying. We need four, this seven. This is getting annoying. Oh, wow. He's playing very, very strong chess right now. Oh, wow. That's bad. Okay, good game. Okay, so he equalized after five games. Okay, we need to calm down a little bit, try to win. Right, the opening again, I guess. So he's fighting back. What's the move here? I think it is H6. So white has many moves, of course. Knight a3. I didn't. I don't remember that move. What's the idea? A B is not a threat. So what is he trying to do? Should I go rook b8? Should I go rook b8? Okay, I'm gonna go rook b8. Rook e8, bishop f8 seems like normal move. My a5, bishop c2. C6, I guess. C6, B4, maybe 7. C4. I guess I have to go C6. My knight is not ideal on B7, but if I get to play D5 quickly, I should be fine. So that's my plan to go bishop f8 and then d5. Hopefully, I will be okay.
C4. Let's have the tag. And then we will C8. Threatening. I don't know what I'm threatening. Maybe this should be four. Not really. Should be four is not really a threat. But then what's my plan? Wow, it just gives me bishop e4. Oh, but it has bishop b6. That's the trick. Okay, that's a good trick. Bishop e4, take, take. Bishop b6, knight c3. Bishop e8, knight d1. Bishop e7, e7. So I just go right now. I don't know, maybe this is strong, but it feels attractive. It should be six, nine, six, three. Queen d3, queen d7, queen c3, queen c6. Oh, but he has knight e5. Knight e5, queen e6. Mm, still not over. Still something. Knight e5, queen e6. Knight c6. Queen d7. Knight e5. Wow, that's getting dangerous. Maybe queen d5 now would be a strong move. Yeah, I'm lucky to have this move, queen d5. Otherwise, I would have been lost already. Very lucky move. Knight e7, rook e7, queen d5, knight e5, defense the rook on e7. I suppose white is still a little bit better there, but maybe I can hold. What can I do now? Rook e1. Or maybe rook e8. Rook e1, queen c6. That may be the best, actually. Oh. Oh, but why did I blunder that? That was horrible, horrible move. Knight b5, maybe try to trap the screen. And then, what's my plan? What's my next move? No idea. No idea at all. What am I doing here? D5? I don't know. Let's go here. Try to bring the knights back to D8 and then E6. Probably that's stupid, but at least he still doesn't get his screen out yet. So I have some hopes now. Go here and now a8 is coming and I should be winning this. Surprising, surprisingly, rook a8. Now I'm winning. Very, very surprising. 
still think it would be possible. Apparently it is. Let's go in here. Oh, still, it's still fighting. C2. Let's make sure that I don't blunder something big. That should be over now. Okay, that should be over. All right. A little bit lucky win here. So that's game six. Now we are to game seven. So I'm plus one. So he still plays this opening. Okay. I think what I had is, is fine. No reason not to repeat it. Maybe let's just go here. Try to save the tempo. Bishop g4, I just go h3. All right, should I take that knight now? Maybe let's go here. Bishop h4. That's okay. You can have my bishop. Actually, maybe I should have played just with your F4 at the beginning, not to allow this. Okay. So what is going on now? Uh, let's go here. Forcing him to take my bishop. This bishop can go back to c2, maybe attack on this diagonal. I don't think I'm better now, but also I'm not worse. Should be playable. Okay, I don't really like to play F3, so I'm gonna go in C1. Okay, so he's going for the attack. F3, F4, F3, Bishop H5. So what's going on here? This may be a bit dangerous for me. So I think I'm gonna bring my knight to F2 just to have more pieces around the king. If he goes g4, I'm gonna go f4, so that's not a big deal. Now I may be threatening f4 because his knight has to go back and I go knight f3. 
and I have some small space advantage. I'm doing fine. Should I go F4? Probably, why not? Now it has to go back, then I can take E7. Or I can also go Knight F3, threatening Knight F. Nice four maybe. I like taking the pawn. It's a free pawn. Why not to take it? Bishop B two, I think, cannot be played. So rook E eight. I'm gonna go rook E six. E6, 98, and then rook E3, looks okay. And then probably knight F3, or maybe rook G3 first. Rook G3 first, and then knight F3. My pieces are very well placed now. The only thing is to bring my other rook to the game. So with something like should be three, I guess. We see two. I should be much better now. If not totally winning. Okay, okay. So I can take that on. Okay. Okay, I'll take it. And then I'll go king here maybe. So in case he take my my knight, my king is not in the way. This should be winning for white. Okay, we give a check. Where does he go? Okay, I'll give a check. And then queen g3, I guess. Oh, bishop f5. Bishop f5 is also a move. But I'll move queen g3. Bishop f5 may be stronger. Yeah. Oh, I miss, I miss Ruby too. Oh, come on. Come on, how can you miss that? Oh my God. F1. Oh my God. Such a horrible miss here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a horrible, horrible move from me. Unbelievably bad. Okay, can you just do? But this may still be good for me. Push it back. This may still be winning for white. Yeah. Okay, let's go here. This may still be winning for wise, I believe. Oh, but I need to be a little bit careful.
Okay, that's the nice sixth one that I wanted. Now this should be winning. Now let's play move like a4. Maybe a4 is more accurate. Take, take. King f6, king f6. Wow, king f7, king f5, king g7, king f4, king f6, king e4, king e6, king e4, king d6, king c4, king e5. That should be winning. Yeah, that should be winning. Okay. All right. So I think I won the match. Four and a half, two and a half. Can you please confirm? Okay, thank you so much. So I would like to thank my opponent, Master Sifchenko, for such an exciting match. The start was smooth for me, and then I lost two games in a row. Luckily, I managed to come back and won this last two games. So overall, I think I play a little bit better, especially with the time management. And I look forward to playing the final tomorrow. Thank you guys for following me. See you guys soon.